In this lesson, we're going to check out the Gradient Transform tool. It's located up here, and the keyboard shortcut for this one is the letter F. Now, as its name implies, this tool does not change actual objects. It only operates on gradient fills applied to these objects. So for this reason, I cannot use it to select this object because it's filled with a solid color. So let's change that. We're going to need to have this panel open anyway. So we'll choose Window and Color Mixer. I'll select the object and here in the fill type I'll choose Linear. Now the Gradient Transform tool operates a little bit differently on linear gradients as it does on radial gradients. So we're going to start with linear and then move on to radial. Okay, so here we have a basic white to black fill. Grab the Gradient Transform tool and we can see some control lines around here. Just like we did with the Free Transform tool. Move your mouse cursor around and watch it change. With linear gradients, we have three main controls. We have a center point, and that one is very self-explanatory. It moves the midpoint of the fill here around in your object. We also have a scale. And this moves the endpoints. So as you can see here, our fill our gradient fill now only operates between here and here. Very useful. And finally, up here in the corner we have Rotate. Again, very self-explanatory. Notice one thing though, if we scale this fill to the point where the lines cross over, you would think that it might reverse, but it doesn't. It always stays the same direction. If you want to reverse it, just rotate it all the way around. Okay, that's it for a linear fill. Let's have a look at a radial gradient. Here we have a few different controls. We still have the center point. Very useful. And we have now two scale controls. We have a basic side-to-side -side scale or horizontal scale in this case, and then we have an overall scale. This is kind of like holding down the shift key when you scale an object using the free transform tool. For that use this one. For a one-dimensional scale use the side one. The rotate control is now here. Again quite simple. The biggest extra control we have is a little triangle looking thing here right near the center. Again as you can see our cursor changes when we move over it. And if we click and drag you'll see that we can drag it only along the axis of this radial gradient. Well what does it do? As you can see it's quite an unusual effect and it's actually very cool. Look over here in the color mixer panel and watch the gradient here as I drag this. We're actually changing the center point of the gradient but not the center point of the fill. So using this you can make some pretty cool effects. And as I mentioned this tool is a lot easier to use than the free transform tool. So that brings us to the end of this lesson.